So we're back here with the boss, um, or is it one of Santa's little helpers? Well, Santa himself. Check out the... Uh... Very nice, very yeah. nice. The St yeah. Nicholas, um, you know, it's double. Right, so uh, as I said in an earlier video, guys and girls, not to forget the girls, we were going to have a little chat about our own uh, Mark III Focus RS development car. But what we'll do is we'll skip that one, we'll do a, a feature on that later, and we'll go straight to the Black Mark III Focus RS, which is the, the one that we're working on at the present time. Give you an update on that for following on from the recent video. We now have with us uh, the one and only Dickie Sanders. Here he is, say hello. Cycle, yeah, yeah. Cycle See, Sanders. I've been good, I've been good. He's allowed me to come into the video <laughs> because I've been, I've been good, honest. honest he's been, he's been, been good this year, <laughs> ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Probably. Yeah, yes. no, we're... Yeah. Uh, We'll, we'll talk you through this, we'll, we'll let Martin do the yeah. technical bit, but um, yeah, yeah we'll go on through guys. Up on the ramp, um, the guys have just finished fitting the uh, gearbox, which um, I gave them a hand, uh, a, a lift with earlier on, and then, like I said, I'll leave you with Martin to um, yeah. tell you the, the technical details of, of what they've done. So, gearbox is back in now, uh, the stage this morning, it was still on the bench, it had been rebuilt, so clutch has all been checked. Um, given the green light, all the assembled gearbox back in. We changed all the seals as well, which is uh, highly recommended because once you disturb them, they never reseat properly. The interesting one on these, on the PTU, the power takeoff unit, also known as a transfer box. So if you come around here, Tim, just bring, bring it around, mate, I'm going to show you. So on this particular seal here, this is the prone one that leaks. They've now superseded this, this is modified. So the problem is resolved. So um, you've got to be a bit silly not to change that seal and using the old one. You might get away with it, but you're taking a chance on having a weepage from there. And that's something you'd recommend to your customers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it comes as a, we do a, a specific fitting kit for it. So that includes the diff bearings, uh, the dry shaft seals, the, the PTU seals you see there. We changed the ring of bolts on the crown wheel. Um, for the diff, with the diff box to it, uh, ring of bolts on the prop shaft uh, to front connector. Um, yeah, so yeah. there's 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 lots of other things that we're going to be doing on this as well. Rich, um, uh, he's, he's he knows what we're doing on it as well to a certain extent. He was involved with the first phase of uh, of mods, yeah. so um, yeah. Yeah, well, so. we're looking forward to you know to him uh, also being invited to the track days next year. Uh, joining us out on track and then it will be interesting to pit this against our car and also the little beast to see how the little beast performs against it mm. and yeah uh, guys make sure and change your seals you don't need <laughs> leaky seals <laughs> Every, right. everybody's getting a bit older and their seals start <laughs> leaking all right we don't some, more any, others, we don't, some more than yeah, others yeah we don't want any no. weepy seals all right <laughs> yeah so change Point. the seal if you're yeah. doing this job yeah. it's recommended so yeah. um Top yeah, tip yeah. there, guys. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, um, a little bit more info on this one. So, as you can see, now it's up on the left of the front end of it. We can now expose the intercooler that's already fit. Like we said before, it's a stage uh, two intercooler. It's a it's an AirTech one. It's fine. That was supplied to us, as I previously said, by the customer. That's going to be replaced by a Pro Alloy one, which you know, like I said before, we feel is a lot better. That's what we fit. Also, that's what you run on your development cars, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Pro Alloy stuff is is fantastic. Like I said before, they're, they're it's, it's it fits properly. A lot of research and development's gone into it. It's highly tested, so there's no no dramas with with any you know not thinking that it's going to do the job. Also, in addition to that, it's going to have the we'll get rid of the stock radiator setup. You still retain the aircon. You don't do an aircon delete on these, and it'll be replaced for a, an upgraded Pro Alloy one which is far superior to that. Again, all tried and tested, it helps keep the coolant temperatures down and works good as a package. We're gonna be putting the uh, the big brake kit as a ride for this now, which was um, really good news because I can now do a bit on this over the Christmas um, period when everybody else is um, eating lots of food. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah, so. New Year's uh, resolution, New Year's resolution is uh, eat more food. Yeah, that's it. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we on that front. We've. Um, I am. Uh, well, I spoke to the guys about the race seats, and um, there's not one available for 
Rich's size. So, uh, so what, we what, are. What, how are we going to fix this, Martin? Well, I've, unfortunately, we're going to have to have a bespoke uh, one-off seat made. Um, yeah. expensive, well, I did what I did but... with the old Cobra metal bucket seats and yeah. I had a rather large co-driver with because, me yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. and Jack, get, get a trolley jack and jack the metal out you know, yeah. to, to fit the rear because I, as the viewers will see in a minute Martin the, um, the little beast actually been going through some pre-Christmas uh, weight reduction itself hasn't it it actually has yeah we'll move on to that one now we'll do a bit more on the I don't need to do too much on one vehicle at a time so we'll come back to this stunning uh, black RS in a future video and you'll be able to see how it's progressing with regards to the brake kit, the suspension, because we're going to be putting the uh, KW uh, DDC plug and play coilovers on this, which is also being fitted to ours, which will be tested on our, our car first. Yeah. That'll work uh, fantastically well with the, all the Paraflex suspension uh, upgrades that we're doing on this, the full, the, the full lot on this one. Uh, with the brakes, it's going to be awesome. So this will be a very, very special car and it'll all be a spin off what we're doing on ours. So it's going to perform as good as it looks, isn't it? It'll be it's great. I mean, this done, is a stunning example. You yeah, we've done, we we done, do done the phase ones on it on it uh, earlier part of this year. He went to uh, Ford Fair um, and done a bit of track, track time with it, and it was fantastic. So when he goes, he's looking forward for 2019 Ford Fair. We'll be there as well. Um, we can support him if he's got any issues with the car, uh, setting it up, etc. Um, it'll be a, he'll have a different experience than what he did on the first time.